Field testing and replacing diodes is a common test procedure performed when servicing welding power sources. Before you start, shut off all power and remove line fuses or lock or red tag switches to prevent the power from being accidentally turned on. To make a field test of the rectifier assembly, you'll need an analog meter. The analog meter has an R times 1 scale. This scale is used for testing diodes. The first step is to set the meter on the R times 1 scale. Short the meter leads together and zero the meter. Before beginning the actual test, isolate the diodes from the rectifier assembly. This will ensure a positive, accurate test. You can start with any diode. Fasten one meter lead to the stud. You can use the heat sink. The other meter lead is connected to the pigtail. Observe the meter reading. Notice that it is a low reading, but not quite zero. Now reverse the meter leads and observe the readings. Notice that the reading is now a high reading. The test of diode number one is now completed. Move on to diode number two. Make the test connection in the same manner. Notice that once again, there is a low reading. Reverse the meter leads and there is a high reading. The test of diode number two is now completed. Move on to diode number three. There is a low reading. and a high reading. At diode number four, notice that there is a zero reading in the first test. Reverse the leads. Once again, notice that there is a zero reading. Take a moment to evaluate. The first three diodes showed a low reading in one direction after reversing the leads there was a high reading. This is an indication of a good diode. The fourth diode shows low resistance or zero resistance in both directions. This means that the diode conducted in both directions and is shorted. There is another type of diode failure that can occur, and that is an open diode. An open diode will show a high reading in both directions. The fourth diode is shorted and must be replaced. Remove the defective diode check the part number and obtain a replacement. If you cannot read the part number on the diode body, refer to the service parts manual for the correct part number. There are a number of items in the service parts bag. The first is a set of instructions for replacing the diode. The next item we find is the diode itself. There's also a small package of heat sink compounds. This material is a good thermal conductor which will allow efficient heat transfer from the diode to the heat sink. There is a package of dissimilar metal compound. This will be used on the pigtail of the diode to prevent corrosion at the point of connection and the breakaway nut. The first thing to do when installing a diode is to clean off the heat sink assembly. Remove all the dirt or varnish residue that may be present. Next, Cut open the heat sink compound package. Apply the heat sink compound to a match or toothpick and apply it to the base of the diode. Do not apply any compound to the threads. It is not a lubricant.
Insert the diode. Put the lock washer on. Then put on the breakaway nut. Make sure that the round portion is against the heat sink plate. Tighten it finger tight. Then turn with a wrench until the hex portion breaks off. The next step is to apply the dissimilar metal compound to the pigtail of the diode. With a match, apply the compound to the pigtail. Once this has been completed, move the pigtail into position, replace the bolt, and tighten. At this point, reattach the pigtails of each of the three remaining diodes. While making this repair, also inspect the physical condition of the capacitor across each diode, along with the suppressor. If there is evidence of the capacitor or suppressor being burned or broken, it should be replaced at this time. After the diodes have been replaced, testing and repair of the rectifier is complete. In review, the first step is to open the primary power disconnect and ensure that the power is turned off. Second, select an analog meter with an R times one scale and zero the meter. The test procedure began with the isolation of the diodes from the rectifier by removing the pigtails. The meter leads were then connected to the stud and pigtails. Readings were then noted. The leads were reversed, and once again, readings were noted. After testing all of the diodes in the rectifier assembly, the results were evaluated. A low reading and a high reading is an indication of a good diode. Two low readings indicated that the diode is shorted, and two high readings indicated that the diode is open. After determining which diode in the rectifier was defective, the diode was replaced. Then the capacitors and suppressors were examined to ensure that they were in good condition. The repair is completed.